Hello Ranger Point Precision friends and family and a special howdy to all you space cowboys. In this video we are going to be covering the installation of this rear receiver plug here in this Smith & Wesson 1854. Now this video can actually serve full purpose for the 1854, Marlin 336, 1894, 1895, and the Rossi R95. They might not be exactly the same, but the process very much is. If you watch this video, I promise at home you will be able to successfully do this. So now for us to get started, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open the action. We are gonna inspect and make sure there is no ammunition in the weapon, on the weapon, or on our workbench. We owe that to us and those around us. Now, let's look at the parts kit. Now, as for tools, this is very simple. You'll probably only need two tools. This one just happens to be a T20 because the buttstock screw is a Torx screw. And then all of them, once you get inside, is going to be an Allen key. This one happens to be a 564, so your mileage may vary, but most of them are going to be very similar. So, like I said, we've already established the fact that this firearm is unloaded. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and start our removal. So now you've got your takedown screw right here for your buttstock. We're going to take this out, and it's simply righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, and it is ready to remove. Now, let's lay this down. We'll remove our buttstock. Boom. There we go. Set our buttstock to the side and set up this shot for another angle. Now, what I have found to be the easiest thing to do is either go into half cock or full cock with your hammer just to get it out of the way. But right here is the plug that we are going to be removing and replacing. So now at this point, I am going to take the Allen key that we'd mentioned before. Like I said, this one is a 560 force. And all we're going to do is we're going to remove this little plug right here. So once this little plug comes out, which is just simply a lefty loosey, now I really want you to pay attention because we can have some oopsies moments here. We don't want to lose this little plug here, and we don't want to lose the spring. Now we do give you an extra ball in the package with the plug that we're removing. So you don't have to worry so much about losing the little ball, but you do need to hang on to your little Allen screw and your spring. So now if you notice, that is out of the way. So here we've got our plug. Now I want you to notice that one side is smooth and the other side has a groove. This groove is gonna face the ejection port side and the groove is going to face backwards toward the set screw, ball, and spring. So now we're gonna take this in from the bottom side here. We're gonna push this right on through and we're gonna hold it in place. Now, do not have any oopsies because this little ball here can disappear and get gone fast. So we're gonna poke that little dude right there in that hole. Now we're gonna take our spring. This little spring was factory, it came out as well. We're gonna poke it into the little hole. And now right here, let's hold our tongue just right. We're gonna take our set screw. We're gonna go ahead and put it on the end of our tip here. And if your tip is magnetized, that'll help you just a little bit more as well. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go righty tighty and boom, there we are. That's that. Let's put the buttstock back on. Our receiver plug is installed. We're gonna go ahead and let our hammer back down. We are going to take our buttstock, place it back on here, give her a good little smack from the back, roll it over. We're gonna take our buttstock screw, we're gonna pop it in there. That can also be a Ranger Point Precision quick takedown screw. Righty tighty calls it done. And boom, you're finished. I hope you found this video helpful. If you need further assistance, make sure to send us a note at the contact form at the top of the website or at the support email below. We've got all sorts of answers, videos, pictures, diagrams, and stuff that'll help you finish out your Space Cowboy lever gun. We'll see you next video.